Welcome in Pesky Pole YouTube channel and we have some stone cold hockey first time on the channel but I've been playing this game and I just love this game. Um, it's addicting. I am playing the 83-84 season and what I've been doing is playing every Edmonton game and every Bruin game. The cool thing is you know the, the Bruins in Edmonton are very different uh, different styles. The Edmonton's wide open, scores lots of goals, and the Bruins are always in these low scoring games. So it's kind of cool to play them uh, both. You see different varieties of of games. So it's been it's been a blast. So let's take a look at the summary real quick. Um, <clears throat> Edmonton is six and zero right now. I'm I'm not sure. But we're gonna play. I'm gonna play the season out. And do the playoffs, the full playoffs. I'll probably play every playoff game because the games are pretty quick. Um, I don't see how a team can beat Edmonton three times or four times in the seven games. Uh, maybe they will. Of course, Edmonton won the Stanley Cup in real life that year, but I, they they just they just blitz teams. So they're six and zero right now. The Bruins have lost some close games. They're um, they are three one and two. Um, actually, they, they, the, the one game they lost was close. The, the two ties they have um, were games they had to lead in late, and they can't give a late goal. So they really should be better off than they are, but still 3-1-2, and two, not bad. Um, you can see in terms of points, uh, we've got um, Paul Coffey of the Oilers leading the way at 13 points. Uh, Gretzky hasn't done – I mean, he's, he's not bad. He's got nine points. He's got three goals, six assists, not bad, but he hasn't really broken out um, big time. Uh, goal scorers right now is Curry for Edmonton. You can see Edmonton scores a bunch of goals. <clears throat> and so, really good goaltending. Uh, Grant Fuhrer uh, of Edmonton is 5-0 and o in there. So, he's, he's done five of their six games. So, let's go ahead and play a little game. Let's go play... Um, Let's go ahead and auto-play these here. New Jersey, Chicago, the Devils are 4-1. and one. They get the loss there. St. Louis, Detroit. Detroit with eight goals. Eight to two. There's a blowout. The Whale. And the Whalers lose that one. The Rangers, who are 4-2-1, and one, they get the win there. Quebec at Toronto. And Quebec with the win. So Edmonton at Vancouver. Edmonton is 6-0. Uh, Vancouver is two, two, and two. Let's go ahead and get this game going. I might play a Bruin game. They play the next night. Let's see real quick. The Bruins play Philadelphia next. We might play a little, a little double header action. Let's go. All right. So Andy Moog's in goal for the Oilers tonight. He is a uh, one and zero. Oh. Um, he gets the start over Grant Fuhrer tonight. Um, so. Richard uh, Brodeur of the Canucks uh, gets the start tonight for Vancouver. You see control, 111 for Edmonton, um, 12 and 20 for Vancouver. Um, so advantage for sure, Edmonton. Let's go ahead and play. And there's the timing. If you haven't played this game before, that means five minutes comes, comes off the clock. I like how they do this, man. It's, it's a really fun game. Let's see the control. And Vancouver's in control here. And they get a chance. At, here comes a goal chance, and they score. So Vancouver, Stan Smile, I believe it is, assist from Doug Hallward. It was a in the slot there. So Vancouver is up one nothing. Oilers don't trail too often this season. They trail here. Three minutes off the clock. Let's see in control, and the Oilers are in control here. Let's see, and there it is. Wayne Gretzky, the great one. He gets a goal, and we are tied at one. An astounding redirection in the crease. And Glenn Anderson with the, with the uh, assist, and Yari Curry with the assist. The fourth goal of the year for the great one. It's one to one. First period, three minutes off, a little battle. We got a battle, a two-minute minor in Edmonton. So the Oilers are going to be in the penalty. Vancouver will be in the power play here. With a chance, 
and the save made save made by Andy Moog. Good job by Andy Moog. Still in the power play though. And there's a the score. Jim Nil is second of the year. Assist from Darcy Rhoda and Jair Gillis. It's 2-1 Canucks. First period still. Only one minute off the clock. Control goes to Vancouver. And they score again. Cam Neely with the score. Halver with the assist. And Vancouver is up 3-1. A surprise here so far. Six minutes off the clock. That will end the, the period, looks like. Here we go. Vancouver again with a chance. And nothing doing there. It looks like uh, a save by Moog. So end of the first period, 3-1 to one is our score. The Oilers are trailing, have not lost a game all year. They are losing here. So four minutes off, second period. Here we go. A battle. And a minor between the minor and Edmonton. So Vancouver is back in the power play. And they score in the power play. Tony Curry, the assist, assist from Patrick Sundstrom, is now 4-1 Vancouver. Control goes to Edmonton. So Edmonton on the offense here. And they get a score. Pat Hughes, his fourth of the year, is Kevin Lowe with the assist. It's now 4-2 in the second period. Edmonton far from out of this ball game. It's hockey game. Sorry, not ball game. <laughs> and we just score again. That one is Pat Hughes again. His fifth, the assist from Curry. Uh, a quick shot and a deep turnover. And it's now four to three. Here come the Oilers. And that takes a big chunk out of the period there, that six minute. And there's a score. Edmonton ties it up. Glenn Anderson with the score. Assist by Greg and Lumley, and we are tied at four, and we have a new game. And that will end the second period. Four to four is your score as the Oilers come blitzing back, which they always do. And here we go, third period. Five minutes off the clock. Oilers in control. Here they come, and there's a score. Yari Curry and the Oilers now lead five to four. Anderson with the, with the assist. Paul Coffey with the assist. His twelfth of the year. And it's a five to four Oilers lead. Six minutes off the clock again. This period's going to fly by. We got an injury on there. We got a minor uh, on Vancouver. And so now the Oilers win the power play here, up by a goal. There's a chance, and there's a score by Gretzky. His second of the game, his fifth of the year, and it's 6-4 to four Edmonton. They have stormed back with five straight goals. Here comes the Canucks trying to cut the lead to one, and they do. A high-scoring affair, 6-5. to five. This is how Edmonton plays. Thomas Graydon, Darcy Roto with the, with the and Mo LeMay with the assist there. So three minutes to go, six to five Oilers. An empty net. No shot. Here we go again. Empty net and no shot. And that's how the game will end. Six to five is your final. Let's look at the game report here. Uh, six to five. Let's look at the scores. A lot of scores right there. Uh, Smill, Gretzky. He got um, got his fourth and fifth tonight. You see three one in the first period, three one in the second period for Edmonton, and Edmonton wins two one in the third period, and Andy Moe gets his second win of the year. So six to five on that one. Good night. Let's see here. All right. Let's go ahead and play out this game here. Montreal, Winnipeg, 4-3. to three. Let's move to the 20th of October, 1983. 
And uh, oh, the Evans got a game too. So I was, I was gonna play Boston, Philadelphia. Um, let me go ahead and do that. I'm, I'll play Boston, Philadelphia. So uh, let's see the Bruins here. Middleton leads them in points. Uh, Pete Peters is uh, two and one. They've kind of split. Doug Doug Keynes and Pete Peters have both played three games each. Uh, Peters is two and one, and Keynes is one and zero. Oh. And you can see uh, Peters has had a better better year so far. So let's go to the schedule. Play a little Bruins, Philadelphia in the Spectrum. So one to nine for the Bruins, ten to twenty for the Philadelphia. So uh, you know, advantage Philadelphia there. And let's see, Pete Peters is in goal tonight against uh, Pell Lindbergh. And let me see if I recognize any of these guys here. I'm not a huge hot. I'm not like I'm not like Dave Gardner. I'm not a huge hockey fan. Um, I recognize Bobby Clark, of course. Uh, let's see who else I kind of recognize from the Flyers. And uh, so my show is the Bruins and the uh, and the Edmonton Oilers because that, those are the guys I know the most. I mean, I know the I know Middleton. I remember Bork. I mean, um, kind of more household name for the casual hockey fan. Uh, Mike Milbury, um, guys like that. So and of course Edmonton's got a whole bunch of guys that are known by. If you're just a sports fan, you know guys like Kevin Lowe and Messier and Curry and Coffee and Gretzky and Grant Grant Fuhrer and all those guys. So. Here we go. Bruins, Philadelphia. And the Flyers are in control here. Here comes a chance. And a score by Ika Sincelo. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. He gets a goal. Second of the year, Thomas Erickson with the assist. And the Flyers up one zip early here. A little agitator here. And it looks like a save. On that one. Four minutes off here is a battle. An enforcer. Filled up with a big hit. Two big hits. So a physical game. And six minutes up the clock there. Control goes to the Flyers. They have a chance. And they score. Dave Poulin, number five for the year for Poulin. Tim Kerr with the assist. And Paul Holmgren with the assist. It is two nothing Flyers here in the first period. Bruins are getting down early. Now, two minute minor on the Flyers here. So, the Bruins in the power play to end the period. And they get a score of Barry Peterson. Peterson is fourth of the year. Terry O'Reilly with the, with the assist. Rick Middleton with the assist. And we end the first period. Two to one is your score. So, second period now. We start things off. And then, Forcer again. This is a physical game fighting going on. We got five minute fighting on um, Boston. A five-minute out of Philadelphia. Philadelphia stamina increased by three. So a physical game going on right here. Two-one Flyers. And there's a score again by the Bruins. Oh, the Flyers have a chance. So Bruins tie things up. Barry Peterson, the assist from Mike Milbury. It is now two to two. And this one, 11 minutes to go, second period. And a big chunk of time goes off there. A six was rolled. And a penalty behind the Bruins, a minor. So the Flyers will be in the power play to end this second period. They have a chance. And a save by Pete Peters. Still in the power play. Here comes another chance. And a save by Pete Peters. And that will end the second period. 2-2 two, two ball game. We go to the third period. We got a battle here. Aggression. And a two-minute minor on Boston. So the Flyers now in the power play once again. In a tie game. Got a kill zone. So Flyers kill. I mean, the Bruins kill the penalty. And a big chunk of time goes off there. Flyers with a chance here. No shot. Not much time goes up on that one. A chant battle here. Delivered the hit. And a save by Lindbergh. So nine minutes to go. 
A penalty on the Flyers. That could be huge. The Bruins on the power play with six minutes to go. Here's a chance, and they got it. Middleton is six of the year. Bruce Crowder with the assist. And the Bruins take a three to two lead. And the Flyers in control there. Here they come. Trying to tie up, and they do. Brian Prop, his sixth of the year. And it's three to three with two minutes to go. And a minor penalty on the flyer. So the Bruins are going to end this game on the power play, trying to win it here. And they do. Millbury scores. His first of the year. Guy Gee the point with the assist. It's 4 3 Bruins. And with a minute to go in the game, the Bruins will try to finish this off. Empty net. No shot. Empty net, no shot, and the Bruins get a 4-3 to three win. A thriller, a thriller, I tell you. That was a fun game. That was really fun. 4-3 to three is your score. We'll I'll go ahead and do the Monster of Minnesota, 7-1 to one there. And we're going to save Edmonton for later on. I'm going to play that game later on, not on, not on the stream. So I played two ball games, two hot games for you. Let's take a look at the standings real quick. Uh... The North Stars with eight points leading the Norris Division. Edmonton now with 14.7-0. And the Bruins have jumped into the Adams Division lead now with that win. In there. Rangers leading in the Patch Division. Um, Edmonton, by the way, has got 41 goals scored. Giving up 24. All right, so the Bruins have 24 to 19 to kind of give an idea um that's by the game so you know it's pretty cool playing the, the, both those teams because this is a different different game you get a different kind of feel for it so the Bruins much more physical games kind of low scoring games um and tight games and, and the Oilers kind of just come out there and and you know the the light is being lit uh non-stop so anyway hope you enjoyed it great game stone cold hockey pick it up ASG uh games ASG uh there's the website you can pick it up at. They're having a sale, uh, 10% off everything, December 19th to the 24th. So you want to wait a little bit and uh, pick up some stuff. That'd be cool, too. So ASG website, man, I tell you, it's my new go-to website. With the ASG Golf and Stone Cold Hockey, I mean, um, Legends of Boxing I picked up. I'm going to do a little fight on, on the channel here uh, probably next week. Uh, I'm going to do a little Max Bear versus uh, James Braddock, um, kind of a little uh, rematch from historical rematch. So uh, check it out. I got time travel tennis as well. We're going to fire that, that bad boy up here soon too. So, all right, have a good night. Thanks, guys, for watching.